Yo, 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 agents. Welcome to the channel. Just want to say thank you for the continued support. If you're enjoying the uh, free content and the build guides are helping you out, please like and subscribe. You can also leave a comment down below. I read all the comments. So if you've got any uh, future build ideas that you'd like me to cover, or you've got uh, any questions, any questions, just drop them down below and I'll read them and get back to you. So today it's going to be build video number 20. I've had a few requests to do the uh, aces and eights build, so here it is. Let's get into it. Starting with the mask, we've gone for four piece aces. So what does that give us? Two pieces gives us 15% marksman rifle damage. Three pieces gives us a lovely 30% headshot damage. And four pieces gives us dead man's hand. Flip a card when landing shots with a marksman rifle. After five cards are flipped, the damage of your next shot is amplified by a beautiful 30%. More shots are enhanced, the better the hand revealed. So four of a kind, it gives you four shots at 30% extra damage, very nice. Full house gives you three shots, aces and eights gives you two shots, and you, uh, for every headshot you get, it flips an additional card. Beautiful. For the chest, I've gone for the named uh, Aralde, pristine example. We've gone for two piece Aralde, so that gives us 10% marksman raffle damage, 15% headshot damage, the core attribute, 13.3 weapon damage, 6% crit hit chance, 10.3 crit hit damage, 12% crit hit damage. And because it's a named one, we get perfect focus. Increases total weapon damage by 6% every second you are aiming while scoped 8 times or higher, up to 60%. Some beautiful extra damage there. It requires a scope with an 8 times magnification or higher. For the holster, it's a second piece of aces. Core attribute, 15% weapon damage, 6% crit hit chance. For the knee pads, it's the third piece of aces. Core attribute, 15% weapon damage, 6% crit hit chance. And for the fourth piece, it's the gloves. 15% weapon damage, 12% crit hit damage. For the backpack, it's the second piece of Aralde. Core attribute, 15% weapon damage, 12% crit hit damage, 5.6 crit hit chance. 5.8 crit hit chance and for the talent vigilance increases total weapon damage by 25 percent taking damage disables this buff for four seconds pretty good i just want to say if you want to uh, use a different chest you can obviously use a uh, headhunter which is on uh, chain killer walker and harris so perfect headhunter after killing an enemy with a headshot your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150 percent of the killing blows damage damage is capped to 800 percent of your weapon damage this is raised to a whopping 1250 percent if your headshot damage is greater than 150 percent and it's very easy to get that 150 uh, percent so it's up to you also for the weapon i've gone for the uh, white death the main reason on this is the uh, reload time, 3.8 seconds. It's very good. I was uh, toying with uh, Ekim's long stick, but if you look at the uh, reload for this, the reload for Ekim's is, is crazy. 6.5 seconds. That's just way too slow for me. You can uh, put 20% uh, mod on, so that knocks it down to 5.5 seconds, but it's just too long. So we've gone for the white death. Total damage 1.1 million, 55 RPM, 5 in the magazine. For the core attribute 12.6 marksman rifle damage, maxed out 137% headshot damage. I think you get this with all the guns, I'm not too sure. And the attribute 10% crit hit damage. And we've rolled on here uh, Ranger. Amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters you are away from your target. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the mods. For the optics, we've gone for 30% headshot damage. For the magazine we've gone 5% weapon damage and for the underbarrel we've gone 5% crit hit chance. For my second, if you've got this gun I'd definitely recommend using it. This is a Nemesis Exotic Marksman Rifle. It's a beautiful gun. Beautiful. Total damage a whopping 2.4 million, 50 RPM and 5 in the magazine. Core attribute 15% Marksman Rifle damage, 111% headshot damage and 9.5 crit hit chance. And this talent is beautiful. Electromagnetic Accelerator. Shots fired deal 0 to 100% weapon damage based on how long the trigger is held before releasing. I'd say it's about 2 seconds to get it up to 100%. It's, it's pretty quick. It's beautiful. 
let's have a look at the skills. It's my first one, it's my favourite, it's the Jammer Pulse. Applies Disrupt States effect on affected targets. These cooldowns are uh, bugged because we're in the range. The cooldown is 5 seconds. The EMP effect duration is 3.3 seconds. The radius, very nice 22 meters. Charging time, 2 seconds. And for the mods, for the coil slot, we've gone for 9.8 radius. For the housing slot, 9.4 effect duration. For my second, I've gone for the striker drone just to uh, distract the enemies. You can uh, go for whatever skill you want. The cooldown again is bugged, 4.2 seconds. Health, 581,000. Duration, 232 seconds. The damage, 19,000. And PvP damage, 3,800. For the mods, for the battery slot, 7.5 duration. For the hull slot, 9.6 health. And for the feed slot, 4.2 damage. Let's have a look at the stats. For the white death, just over 1 million weapon damage, beautiful. PvP weapon damage, 288,000. Crit hit chance, a very nice 50.4%. Crit hit damage, 101.3%. Headshot damage, 257%. Beautiful. And the range is uh, 60 meters. And like I say, the reload time of this one compared to the other is only 3.8 seconds. Beautiful. Onto the second, it's the Nemesis. Weapon damage, 2.3 million. PvP weapon damage, 634,000. Crit hit chance, 55%. Crit hit damage, 96%. Headshot damage, very nice, 246%. Beautiful. The range, 60. And the reload time is beautiful, only 2.6 seconds. Pretty good. So we're we'll running a full red build. So six red cores and also eight red cores. And for the specialization, obviously it's sharpshooter. I think you get a bit of uh, stability, 15% headshot damage. Pretty good. Okay, agents, that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.